These guys actually gave us less than 24 hours notice for their game launch. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about two games, King Sense and Nier Reincarnation. I'm very sorry if I butchered that name and your franchise. Both of these games are having global releases very soon. Actually, I guess you could argue some of them are not really global releases, but let's save the details for later. You guys already know, let's have a look at each game, their registration dates, just some nuances about it. I guess I have uh, some things to talk about for both. A lot of reputational things I suppose. Just some things that make me in the back of my mind go like with that being said though, I am very hyped for both games. 2021 has been a very dry year for gachas so far, but I think things are about to ramp up. PGR, Boku no Hero, King Sense, Alchemy Stars, Project Mimir, there's so much going on actually. And with that being said, let's hop into today's news, which is King Sense. King Sense is kind of like a tactical game in which it's more like, uh, more like Final Fantasy Tactics rather than like Arknights. I know a lot of you play Arknights, but there's actually not many games that can compare to Arknights. Maybe that's why it's so popular. Arknights is a good game and I was not paid to say that. Anyway, back to King Sense. So as you can see here, we have the pre-registration now, but I don't know how much that's going to mean, especially because the launch is in like 16 hours. By the time I release this video, it'll probably be like 12 hours away. Today is the 12th of May and it seems that the servers are going online on the 13th of May. So here you go. This is the actual server opening time, 10 a.m. on May 13th, GMT plus seven. I'm GMT plus 10, so this actually makes it really easy for me. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon for Australians like me. It does look like we have a lot of stuff going on, but let me show you some gameplay before we do anything. All right, shout out to my boy Bokono because I'm about to steal his video. Bokono, if you see this. All right, there are a couple of things I want to show you guys. Let me make this full screen. Um, the animated live 2D waifus, which is, oh, wow. Mm -mm -mm. That's the first thing. However, the gameplay is a little bit further from the truth. So if we go over here, this is what I mean by tactical. So you can see like, this is not really like Arknights. It's more of like a grid based. So uh, like turn based, we move and then they move and then we do things and then they do things. So that's pretty cool. Let me slow it down a bit because Bokono is like really fast. All right, I slowed it down a bit. So let's have a look at this. All right, let me bump up that quality for you because like that was horrible. All right, let's keep going. So I want to show you guys what the gameplay actually kind of looks like. So because he was playing in auto mode before, so you can see here, like there's a bunch of squares and you can go attack stuff with this character. And like, yeah, that's kind of like what's going on. You kind of like move around the board and stuff. Like look at this ninja girl with the gun. And then you like have your characters move around and like go kill things. And so auto will obviously do that all for you automatically. So yeah, there we go. Look, he's getting this character to move up to that square and then she's going to go like uh, kill things, I guess. That's kind of the gameplay. If you guys do want more gameplay content, check out his video. It is a pretty cool look at it. But otherwise, there are a couple of other things I want to show you, <laughs> like this waifu. Mm. As an S tier waifu, if I may say myself, what I really want to talk about is the gacha. So the gacha, I believe, is similar to Arknights, where like after you roll a certain point, you'll get like percentage increases. Is using that kind of system, which is nice if there wasn't freaking gear gacha. Look, gear gachas are okay, except for when it's like mixed with characters. It really freaking sucks because you can just be like spooked by gear, which is like, uh, it's so freaking cringe. Like Epic Seven, Genshin Impact, they got like the mixed gacha, and I'm not, I'm just not a big fan of it, you know. So I think he actually rolls and he gets a bunch of stuff, right? So let's see. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. Look, it's a yellow. Where is it? Oh, here. Okay. <laughs> this is my worst nightmare. Getting an MR, which is the highest rarity thing. Imagine you're going for your freaking waifu and you get like the top rarity, but it's like a freaking item. I don't know, man. That just, that isn't it for me. Otherwise though, coming back to the gameplay, like honestly, the gameplay looks really interesting. I think I will definitely give it a shot. As you can see, it is the chibi star, but you know, you guys can decide whether you like that or not. I, I'm i okay with the chibis. Like, I'm not like or dislike. I'm kind of indifferent to it now. However, I do know that this is like a deal breaker for a lot of people. Other quality of life features. You got like skip tickets. You got like the three times speed, which is pretty sick. And you got the auto. Like, it's pretty standard at this point. But yeah, all right. Let's call it there for that guy. And like I said, pre-registrations are open. This is up to 500k pre-registrations, which is really great. However, there is a like a, a 
strange, I guess, uh, let's call it innovative. Uh, let me be nice, I suppose, campaign that they are kind of running, which is like you pre-register and then you join the event and then you make a team and then you kind of like go out and try to find like another six people to join your team. If you manage to get a full team of seven, then you get a code and you get extra stuff. This is cool. This might help you with your re-rolls. I don't know, but like have a look at this. This is what I'm talking about, the recruitment thing. All right, that's all the nice stuff. So I'm pretty keen to this game. I'm definitely going to try it, but let me add a big caveat to that. And that is the publishers of this. Oh, before I move on, shout out to Lord Cat G. I love the creative username, seriously. And I wanted to talk about this. So again, highest rarity is 2% plus 4%, which is a total of 6%, which makes it a little bit better. So I guess you could say it's on par with Ark Knights. And what we also have is actually a discount on the 10 pulls. So that's really nice. You can see here, it actually only costs nine pulls to do 10. I'll drop this review down in the description. You guys can read it yourself, but I guess what I really wanted to talk about, um, it's kind of the monetization, but free to play or whatever, but it's really this one. This, I guess, is why I'm going to be cautious. If you guys have ever played the game Illusion Connect, you guys will be familiar with the publisher's Super Prism. Here's my perspective. I played Illusion Connect for like the first few months and I thought it was probably one of the greatest games ever. Not greatest game as in like it was groundbreaking or any of that, but it was just like a really, really solid gacha that was very generous, that had like all of the quality of life that I wanted. Everything seemed really reasonable. I was competing in like one of the soft launch brackets with like almost no spending. And it was one of the first games that actually made me feel like I wanted to spend on it. I personally quit quite early just because I had a lot of other stuff going on. But otherwise, when I left, it was a solid game. However, this reputation has been going around in which like the recent months of Illusion Connect has been a little bit like questionable. So at this point, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Like for me, I had like an okay experience. However, I do know that a lot of people have been like not very happy about Super Prism recently. Super Prism again are also publishing King Sense, so we will see how they do, I suppose. With all of that being said, I am still going to give this a shot. I am a big fan of the gameplay. However, I will be more cautious this time with Super Prism's track record. Of course, one could argue that the Illusion Connect whole fiasco or whatever reputation is not like, you know, we can't really attribute it to like Super prism and perhaps it was the devs that were greedy or this or that or whatever i personally don't know but i'm gonna try keep an open mind and actually give this game a shot again like i said this game on paper and from the videos i've watched it looks really interesting and really fun but again i will still be cautious all right that brings us to the next part of the video which is about nier reincarnation so Let's have a look at this bad boy. I know there are a lot of you Yoko Taro fans, like all the Nier fans. A lot of you are really into like Automata, like the A2 or 2B or, or the other lad with like the bowl cut or like Nier Replicant, you know, stuff like that. And today we've got news on Nier Reincarnation. Nier Reincarnation is a really interesting one because it's a different take on like the franchise. I'll show you guys some of the gameplay, but let me put it this way. If you think it's going to be like Automata or Replicant, I say curb your expectations. All right. All right, let's just run through this. I just want to show you like, all right, this is what it kind of looks like. So kind of the vibe, you guys already know, it's Yoko Taro, it's dark, it's gloomy, it's all a little bit like, I'm scared, everything's a bit creepy, you know? I'm just gonna scroll through this really quick just to show you like, so it's a lot of auto pathing. As you can see, like you're kind of just being taken like point A to point B. And then you will also have the battle system, which we've got right here. So as you guys can already see, like it is, oh, wait a second. That was it. They didn't show us. Oh, here. Okay. Here's more of the battle system. So it's turn based and you go in waves. And then after that, it's, <sighs> I know a lot of people are not going to like this. It really doesn't help that they keep like, you know, going into this walking kind of thing. So this is just, this is something I do need to address because this is the reputation that Nier has like right now, near reincarnation that is. Um, so let me just show you the combat again really briefly. So it is again turn based and you just like go slap them and it really didn't show much combat, which is a shame. Anyway, what I really want to talk about is like this whole walking simulator thing. Nier reincarnation right now has a reputation of being a walking simulator where you spend most of your time just walking around and talking to things like this. I'm just going to get out of that. I think you guys get the idea. It's just like, like that, like, like that. It is very, very different to the console games. However, I would say that the vibe is still generally the same. It's just that the gameplay is kind of the opposite. The caution with Nier is that you kind of need to go in with curbed expectations. You're not going to get a hack and slash. You're not going to get like, you know, crazy, awesome looking like moves. You're not going to get the ass flashes. Actually, you probably will be getting the ass flashes, but you're not going to be getting the high speed combat and stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you have those expectations in mind and like just 
think of this as like a, let me put it nicely, a story driven game, then you're probably going to have a lot of fun. You're going to enjoy like immersing in this world. Even if you don't, in my opinion, if you are a Nier fan, I think you should still give this a shot. I was kind of a Nier fan and I gave Sinnoh Alice a shot. I liked it, but like it just, for a lot of people, if you guys have ever played like Sinnoh Alice or like you were around for the hype, this might be like that because a lot of people were like ultra hyping up Sinnoh Alice because it was Yoko Taro, it's got the dark vibes and stuff. And then everyone got to Sinnoh Alice and they're like, wait a second, that's it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not taking a dump on Sinnoh Alice. I personally really liked it. It's just that for me, the time commitment was way too much. There is a gacha game for everybody, okay? And what I'm trying to say is that this one might be for some people and might not be for some people. Okay, so that's the caution. So let me just talk about, you know, everything else. So the pre-registrations are open. However, the launch date for this is pretty far back. If we go by the launch date that is available on the App Store, it will be available by November 6, 2021. Typically, App Store dates you can kind of trust. But as always, do not sue me if I get this date wrong. Me personally, I will probably give it a shot. I do like the dark tones in the air. I do like, you know, the world building around it. I'll just have to see if I actually like it or not. I did give the Japanese version a try, but like, uh, it's really hard for me to form an opinion on like Japanese games, especially for a story driven one like this. All right, guys, let me give you a quick conclusion because that's about the end of the video. I'm pretty hyped for Nier, maybe like a five, six out of 10. I'm quite hyped for King Sense, maybe like an eight out of 10. However, I am very cautious. I just hope that the publishers or the devs or whoever don't let me down because the gameplay itself looks great and the waifus look even greater. Again, remember King Sense is probably coming out in about 12 hours. It is only coming out for these regions, but you know, if you look around for an APK, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure it's going to be out there somewhere. But otherwise, on the other hand, we do have Nier coming in November. For both of these games, we'll just have to see how it goes. All right, guys, I think that's all we have time for today. So let's wrap it up here. I've got a secret question and that is, are you going to be trying King Sense? I'm focusing on King Sense because Nier is pretty far away. King Sense, 12 hours, you know, like despite everything, I think it's always good to give it a shot. Even if the reputation is bad, you never know. You just never know, you know. I personally definitely will give it a shot and hopefully it'll be good. I'm just really hoping that the publishers and the developers, like they won't let me down. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys are going to try out King Sense. With that being said though, thank you for making it to this part of the video, the end. As always, if you guys found this video entertaining or you liked it or you found it informative, consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow. You guys already know what it is. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.